Hey everybody, Al Berg here, and uh, I have an unboxing video of a knife I just bought uh, from Amazon. So this is a, a cold steel knockoff, and uh, it had got a low rating, and so if I get a bad knife, it's my fault. Let's open this. <laughs> Believe it or not, this knife can't open this packaging. Oh, you geez. Okay, that's a fail. Okay. Boy, that Amazon has some serious packaging. Okay, so let's see what we got here. And um, I learned something also that when you unbox a knife, okay, I'm not going to use this one. Talk to them to yourself. Okay, so we'll, we'll use this one. Okay, the uh, it wasn't. Yes, yeah, so that one may need, may need a sharpening. Okay, let's see what we got here. So one of the things I realized, a mistake I make, is I unbox knives, but I don't put the plastic back in the package. That's actually very important because if you want to sell it, I got a, I got a lump of plastic that I'll have no idea um, with the how it came. So a good idea okay that I don't need and uh, let's see what we got here okay so this is a cold steel I'm not sure which one it is it's supposed to be um, it got some bad reviews and uh, I don't know it seems pretty good so here it is it's unlabeled again I can't compare it to the real cold steel but it is a knockoff and I'll, uh, I'll list which one this is. But yeah, this was on Amazon. People are complaining that you can't close it. Which, yeah, it is. Oh, wait. A little hard to close. Uh, and it does have the this thing. So if you put it in your pocket and pull. I don't know if I can get this. Yeah, not bad. Um... You know, so it was cheap, but it is hard to close. <laughs> That's what they complained about. So kind of have to push down. You need two hands. Uh, you know, for 20 bucks, it's very slippery. Um, you know, as I'm holding it up, it's very slippery. So uh, let's do a cut test. And it wasn't in a bag, so I don't have that problem now. It's not bad. It's a pocket clip. You know, I'm glad I got this. So I took a chance. I don't know the steel, but uh, tell me what you think of this. It's really not bad. And uh, so this is this is like sometimes you see a low rating, but uh, let's see how it does in the paper test. I'm not crazy about the stonewash blades. I like shiny blades, but it did it did pull from the pocket nicely. Oh, so we're gonna do. Let's see how sharp it is. Okay. Not very sharp. So it could use an edge. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at this. Yeah, I could use a better edge. Um, here's the edge up close. And the knife. And let's see. So here's it next to the luzin. What kind of steel is it? Who knows. But uh, it's nice looking. And I'll do anything to save a couple of bucks. I don't know, it's not like I'm going to pocket carry it. So the blade is about four, it's like four and a half inches. And the full knife is a little over ten. So, um, again, I'll have to look up which one it is. But it appears to be one of the cold steel knives. Very slippery, though. Like a very slippery grip. Let's see what else. Here's the play, not bad. 
I could see why. Yeah, it's hard to close. Let's see. You can open it. Oh, you got to be careful with this because, yeah, I could see. Yeah, you, it doesn't have a thumb stud, but you can do the pocket open. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, here we go. Nice. So, um, I like it. Again, the material is kind of very slippery. Not sure if I like that. But uh, for like twenty dollars on Amazon, um, I don't know. I'd have to compare it. So, and if anybody has gotten the real one, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Please like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you like this content. Take care.